There are so many completely free VST plugins available for your DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find some and try a few out. Hello, home music creators. There are lots of free plugins available for your DAW, whether that's Reaper, Cubase, Logic, whatever you're using. In this video, we'll be looking at VST plugins in particular. VST is a plugin format invented by the German music technology company Steinberg. VST plugins can be effects plugins that you can bring into your DAW and change the sound of one of your tracks. They can also be instrument plugins where you can play MIDI data through that plugin to give you an instrument sound such as a piano or drums or whatever really. So let's find some free VST plugins. Here I am in my browser on Google's homepage and the first thing I'm going to do is the blatantly obvious, I'm just going to type free VST plugins into Google. We get two basic types of websites. We get the websites that are a huge sort of catalogue of plugins from many, many different people. Uh, and these can range from individual developers who made these plugins to uh, sizable companies. And we've also got websites from music technology companies, such as Native Instruments here. And from there, you will be able to download just Native Instruments free plugins. Let's have a look at one of these websites. So plugins for free here. This is a great website with so many different plugins on, very commonly used by home music producers. Pretty simple to use, you can see you've got all the, the categories of different things here, but the way that I prefer to use it um, is to use the search functionality. So let's search for a reverb plugin. So let's uh, simply type reverb into there. And we've got lots of them. And you can organize these in alphabetical order or rating order or in uh, the date they were last added order. I'm going to choose best rated there. Let's pick one of these. Uh, okay, easy reverb. That sounds promising. And you can see here's quite a lot of detail about the plugin. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see here we've got download links. So I'm going to download for Win64, which is what I'm on, 64-bit Windows. Let's click that link. So we have that plugin downloaded. Let's pick a different website and search for a different plugin. So I've already downloaded a reverb plugin. Let's, let's download some sort of effect like, a, I don't know, chorus or flanger or phaser or something. This is another very common website, freevsts.com. Again, I'm gonna use the search functionality. Let's try flanger, shall we? Okay, we got lots of flanges here. Uh, let's pick that blue cat flanger, shall we? There we go. Looks quite nice. Again, we've got quite a lot of detail uh, written on the website here. Big green download link. Let's click that. Download. And I'll pick Win X64 VST, because again, I'm on 64 bit Windows. Download that, great stuff. And let's try one more. Let's go back to plugins for free, shall we? And this time I'm going to look for an instrument plugin. Not an effect, but something that we can play MIDI through and give us the sound of an instrument. And I'm going to look for a piano sound. So I'm on the search page. Let's just type piano. There we go. And again, we've got lots of, uh, lots of nice looking pianos there. Again, I'm going to order by best rated. Okay, we got quite a quite a few here. I think I'm just going to pick the top one. JH Piano. Okay, we don't have so much detail uh, with this one, but that's okay. And again, I'll download for my operating system. When you've downloaded the plugins, they may be in the form of an installer you can run such as this exe file here, or they may be in the form of zip files where you have to extract them. So I'm going to extract these. So easy reverb there. Now you can see we've actually got a DLL. I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Extract that. Okay, there we see that DLL on my hard drive now. And I'll do the same with the piano I downloaded. Extract that. 
you can see that one's uh, a bit bigger because it's taken a, a lot more time to extract. That's because it's a virtual instrument rather than an effect and instruments tend to be quite a lot bigger. And then the finally, we also downloaded this flanger, but this is in the form of an installer. So we'll run the installer, double click that and just follow the instructions as you usually would. So we've got three new plugins. Now the one with the installer, that will have put the plugin in the right place so your DAW can pick it up. The others were going to have to move manually into the right place. Now for me using Reaper, that's going to be in this folder here. C Program Files Reaper X64 Plugins. I'm going to copy everything that I extracted from those zip files and I'm going to put them into this folder here, Reaper's Plugins folder. It may ask you for administrative permission, that's okay to give it that. I've opened up Reaper here. This contains a couple of tracks from one of my songs, What We Were, which is a sort of piano-based instrumental song. I've removed all the tracks except a piano and a guitar here. And let's try out some of these free plugins we downloaded. So let's just listen to the guitar track as it is now. Okay, nice. Now let's add that reverb plugin. You can see I've already got a plugin on this track. This is Bias FX, which is an amp sim, but you can see I've already got some reverb on here. So I'm gonna take that off. Let's just listen again. Okay, and now let's add that reverb we downloaded. So add, it was called Easy Reverb. So let's search for Easy. Okay, there it is. Select that and click Add. And there we see it. There's our new plugin we just downloaded. Let's, without touching any of the controls, see what that sounds like. There you go, that's uh, very spacey. So there we go, there's our free plugin not paid anything completely for free or set up and working inside my song. Let's try the other effects plugin that we downloaded, which was a flanger. Open up the FX window again, click add. Let's just search for flanger. And there we go, Blue Cat Audio Flanger. Add that, select it, and here we are. Again, let's have a quick listen. Straight away you can hear the flanger effect on that guitar track. Finally, we also downloaded a virtual instrument, not an effect. This is a MIDI piano track that I recorded by playing my digital piano and recording that MIDI data. Again, let's click the FX button, search for piano, and there it is. There's the plugin we downloaded. Add that. And that looks like a piano to me. Let's have a look. We can play some notes on it. Okay, and then let's just listen to the piano track I've recorded through this plugin. Very nice. And there you go. We now have a lovely sounding piano in our song. Let's just have a listen to what that sounds like all together, shall we? Now I wouldn't leave that like that. I would uh, mess around with that in mixing and probably reduce the flanger effect and reduce the reverb on the guitar and mess around with the piano, yeah. But that's a very nice demonstration of getting three plugins completely for free from the internet and using them in my song. So there we go. If you didn't realize just how many free VST plugins were available for you to use, I hope you do now. I hope you'll have a search on those websites and find something that you really like that will work great in your own songs. This is Paul from Home Music Creator signing off. See you in the next video. Cheers.